The banner of truth and religious liberty, which the Reformers held aloft, has in this last conflict been committed to us. The Remnant Church presents the subject, Crucified Afresh. Jesus said, To the extent that you did it to one of these brothers of mine, you did it to me. In the case of those who have been once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and have been made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come and then have fallen away, it is impossible to renew them again to repentance since they crucify afresh the Son of God and put him to open shame. Some, when God reproves them for wanting their own way, make the world their confidence and bring church matters before the world for decision. Then Christ is crucified afresh and put to open shame. Those church members who appeal to the courts of the world show that they have chosen the world as their judge, and their names are registered in heaven as one with unbelievers. Not by might, nor by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord Almighty. I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. There is nothing covered that will not be revealed, and nothing hidden that will not be known. We must, as a people, arouse and cleanse the camp of Israel. We are in danger of becoming a sister of fallen Babylon, of allowing our churches to become corrupted and filled with every foul spirit, a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And will we be clear unless we make decided movements to cure the existing evil? If doubts and unbelief are cherished, the faithful ministers will be removed from the people who think they know so much. If thou hadst known, even now at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes. A reformation must go through the churches. Reforms must be made, for spiritual weaknesses and blindness were upon the people who have been blessed with great light and precious opportunities and privileges as reformers, they had come out of the denominational churches, but they now act a part similar to that which the churches acted. We hoped there would not be the necessity for another coming out. Satan is to make the most powerful efforts for the mastery in the last great conflict. Fundamental principles will be brought out and decisions made in regard to them. The faith of individual members of the church will be tested as though there were not another person in the world. The Introduction As the sands of time run down, nearing the very end of all things, prophecy indicates where we are in the great controversy. No prophecy as of any private interpretation, and many in this day are saying the same things. There are others, however, who are still deluded and influenced by the mystery of iniquity and the spirit of the man of sin, could it be that they prefer the spirit of Antichrist to the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption? While the Protestant world is by her attitude making concessions to Rome, let us arouse to comprehend the situation and view the contest before us in its true bearings. Let the watchmen now lift up their voice and give the message which is present truth for this time. Let us show the people where we are in prophetic history and seek to arouse the spirit of true Protestantism, awakening the world to a sense of the value of the privileges of religious liberty so long enjoyed. It is our attempt in this presentation to clear the water and make simple that which for many has been so confusing. It is the truth as it is in Jesus that we so need and desire. It is the very life of God that has been emptied for us 
that we might become partakers of His divine nature. Because the Son of God has been crucified afresh, this tape must be recorded and spread to all corners of the earth.